In America, we only recycle about 25% of our waste. In Europe, in countries like Germany, France, Netherlands, Norway, and so on, they recycle at least 40% of their waste. And some countries like Germany, they recycle up to 65%. And if you look at numbers based on materials, let's say we talk about plastic. In Europe, they recycle from 24 to 74% of plastic. Average is 42. In America, we only recycle 9% of plastic. If you look at the numbers for the past 5-10 years, the sad part is that we didn't really improve the recycling. So, so far, there is not so much progress in that. For example, look at these numbers. You can see that in Europe, the recycling rates are growing. So they're really working on the process to make recycling more efficient and to recycle more waste. And compared to this, in US, you can see that we didn't improve much in the last couple of years. Why is it not doing as good as Europe in terms of recycling? And the more important question is, can we actually do better? For a country as big as America, we definitely want to do a little bit better than what we do now in terms of recycling. We moved into this new apartment complex that told us they have recycling bins, so I saved my boxes. Let's go and try to throw them away. Okay, which of the beans is recycling bin? Wait a minute. Why do they all look the same? Let me see. Oh, this one is recycling because somebody scrapped a recycling sign on it. I guess it goes there. I wonder if real reasons for low recycling rates in the US are the reason that people can't even figure out which bin is the recycling bin. I would really love to figure out why recycling rates in America are not as high and what can be done. The first thing that comes to my mind is the, the perception of recycling in different parts of the world. In a country like a Germany, I think people consider recycling as almost like your obligation as a citizen. They're more aware of the situation in the world, about the climate change, about the pollution, about the waste. I remember myself maybe 20 years ago or something like that. I, I did a lot of school exchanges with Germany and I would stay in a German families. And back then in my country, we didn't do much recycling. So of course, when I went to Germany for the first time, I was so surprised how much recycling is, is done in every household. For example, for example, we would, we would go to the supermarket to do grocery shopping and we would buy a box of mineral bottle bottles. For every bottle we bought, we were charged a small deposit. When you return this glass bottle, you get your deposit back. So nobody forces you to recycle, nobody forces you to separate your waste, but you do it because you want to get your money back. My other trips to Germany, I noticed how people are separating their garbage. Again, back then in my country, we would just have one trash bin and that's it. But in Germany, like 20 or 15 years ago, they already had several bins and they would tell me, okay, this is for the paper, this is for the cardboard, this is for the white glass, this is for the green glass. And, and, and if you stay in Germany long enough and you have like at some point go and throw this garbage away, you get really confused by amount of bins where you have to put this. And I guess because everyone is doing it, it's just part of the norm, part of your life and you just recycle. When I moved to America, I noticed that things are differently here. Most of the times people would only have one trash bin that gonna go into the larger garbage bin outside and that thing would be collected. A little bit upgraded situation happens when you have three bins. One is blue for the recycled materials. Another one is for the landfill. It's just a generic waste. And the third one is for organic waste. So something that can be composted. Or you have only two bins, recycling, non-recycling. That's it. I don't know if there are any states and cities in the US, and by the way, if there are, please let me know in the comments, where they have more than three beans. In Germany, people usually have much more than that. So I guess when we talk about the reasons why recycling is not as advanced here in America, I guess, first of all, it's about people not perceiving recycling as their responsibility. Second, when we look at it from the state level or the federal level, the government doesn't do much to provide these uh, opportunities for people to recycle. For example, I found this data from 2016 research. They say that only half of US uh, households are provided with their recycling opportunities. So basically half of the country can't really recycle. And if we talk about this half of the household that are actually able to recycle, this doesn't mean they separate their uh, waste. They just put everything in one bin and then the company that collects the waste, waste promises to separate everything into recyclable, non-recyclable materials. This happens to the 60% of that half. If you talk about rough numbers, we can say that only fourth of Americans are actually doing something to help the recycling. That's a, that, let's say they have separate bins. The other one fourth 
they don't do nothing, but they just rely on the government and states and municipalities to do recycling for them. Something that I really like about America that if people want to do some changes, they can go and talk to their co congressmen and congresswomen, and they actually can bring some changes from the bottom up. And I think the biggest problem with recycling and like waste pollution in America is that people are not really aware what is going on. So and I hope that there is more discussion about the greener earth, about like pollution, about climate change and stuff i hope like more people will be aware and there will be more activists to do something and to bring changes from bottom up and also forcing the government to bring changes from top to bottom another problem with recycling in general in us and the way how it's i guess different from europe like let's say the best uh, recycling we can do when we have a one bin for plastic for paper for glass i don't know for metal so it's like single stream recycling that's how they call it so we basically put everything that's possibly can be recycled in one bin when this bean is collected by the company it doesn't go obviously straight to recycle first it has to be sorted so somebody has to look into that bean and see oh this is glass this is paper because it has to be separately sent to the recycling facilities so when it's collected all in one bean lots of materials gets contaminated let's say the glass is getting broken into small pieces so it's much harder for the companies who can possibly recycle it in new glass to actually do something with it some of the paper can get uh, contaminated or even like soil from other items that were actually not so clean single stream bean like single stream recycling is actually helping people yeah to be comfortable about recycling ah, you don't need to separate paper cardboard glasses stuff like that but it actually provides uh, less opportunities for recycling in the end another problem is as i mentioned the other paper like let's say in this bean can be soiled by other dirty materials that's another problem lots of people are not aware that if you throw a wrong thing in the recycling bin or let's say you throw something that's dirty like it's a let's say it's a food wrapper that is greasy or it's a container or a, that still has some food in it these items can contaminate the whole bin and the problem in america is that lots of oh, lots of the times when this uh, larger bin is collected and then it's assessed by the sorting facility sometimes they would just send the whole bin to the landfill because uh, they're going to estimate that it's too dirty to deal with it so it's just easier and cheaper just to send it to the landfill so it doesn't contaminate the rest. As consumers not doing the right thing when we throw uh, something in the recycling bin, we also make the problem worse. I'm gonna make a separate video about recycling. I'm gonna, I, I will talk about things like what can't be recycled but what people actually often put in the recycling bin. I will also talk about things like how to do the recycling in the right way so at least we make sure we don't make the process even worse. And by the way if you're one of the people who's thinking like why would we even recycle I will have a separate video on that what are the reasons for us to even bother with and trying to do extra effort to do better recycling in our country. So I guess it's up to us to chip in and also do something to help America to be better in terms of recycling. Fun fact, every time I have to say some numbers, especially if it's number 15 and 50, I really suck because I don't know, my accent is weird. It's really hard to understand when I mean 15 or 50. So every time I have to say the number, I'm thinking like, can I just say instead of 50, say like 48? And instead of 15, say something like 12? or 18. <laughs> they said that only 50%, they say that around 50, they said they say that only half of US uh, households are provided